Hello, my name is Henry and on this video we are going to talk about some investing and on this week from October 1st to October 5th 2018 we are going to look at some cryptocurrencies and these cryptos, cryptocurrencies were Bitcoin uh, futures, Bitcoin Cash, Monero, Litecoin and Cardano and we made some predictions and on this video we are going to look at how did we do on those predictions. So welcome aboard. Okay, at first I would like to mention that uh, this is not investment advice and I encourage everyone to do their own research and take responsibility from all of your decisions. You can always ask help if needed, but make that, de that decision that you take responsibility of your own financial decisions. That way you will become a better investor in time. Okay, so let's look at this financial week on October 1st, October 5th, 2018. And before, the, before this week there was a discussion that uh, institutions were coming about, uh, thinking about uh, coming to the crypto markets. Well, I kind of uh, took this uh, as an advice uh, to take a look at how the markets would react if this kind of news would really happen. Well, let's see. I predicted that according to this news that markets would have uh, some effect. There would be volume and volume creates volatility and both these two combined volume and volatility. This means that there would be action in the market. Well, the opposite happened. There was not that much of a volume especially in the Bitcoin. Bitcoin volume dropped. So that usually means that they're not, there's not that much of an action in the market. So I predicted first that the Bitcoin would go to $6,800, according to this news. But it didn't, it actually dropped. So then the next prediction was the midweek, there was a drop. Well, there was, there was actually a drop almost all the week uh, until the midweek and then the le rest of the week after midweek I predicted that the market would go up. It did go up but not that much because of the volatility and the volume. There wasn't that much of a volume and volatility and those really creates a, create the opportunities for everyone in the market especially if you are a short-term trader. Well in the longer term of course if you are a long-term investor, if there's no volume and volatility, prices they just don't move that much. Okay, then Bitcoin Cash. I predicted that uh, there would be upward motion toward $552. Well, there was. It was very close, that prediction. Uh, the prediction was $2 away from the actual, and the uh, actual top was $500. $54. So very close. Then I predicted the Monero would reach first uh, 118 and then uh, 122. Well, this uh, double uh, action first up to 118 and then 122. That didn't happen just like that. We got $120. So very close. So almost almost hit there too. Uh, then I predicted that Litecoin would go up to or closer to $63. It actually went just to $61 and $28. So not that close. It Litecoin's movement was closer to the Bitcoin futures movement this week. And Cardano, I predicted that Cardano would go into 8.8 .8, uh, cents, but that didn't that didn't happen. Cardano followed Bitcoin all the way. So, do the markets really believe that institutions are coming in to the crypto markets? No, not at all. <laughs> markets don't believe that institutions are coming to the market at least when it comes to this week. So 
institutions probably have a lot more uh, to do if they consider coming to crypto market. But if there's one thing I would like you to remember from this video, every market there is a volume and volatility. And these two things are good things. Usually in a public in the media, it is said that crypto markets are dangerous because there's not there's too much uh, volatility. Well, volatility is good. It means the market is alive. But there's not enough volatility, market dies eventually because market needs movements, markets needs up and down movements and it needs volume. So if there's not enough volume and volatility, there's not going to be enough price action to attract traders and long-term investors eventually. Okay, these predictions can be found from uh, Rosmatar's Facebook page, from Twitter, from Google+, and on LinkedIn. And you can check those uh, predictions there. I usually make predictions on Sunday and Monday before the week starts. So, thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. See you in the next one. Bye.